All right, so I have the KSP is given to me for this one. They called it the solubility product, but that's what it is. So I'm going to label it as KSP. I'm going to write my dissociation reaction. So this would separate into one lead and two bromines. When I do this regular ice table thing, where it's just plus X, plus two X, all that stuff, this is for in water, right? Like that's what we're always doing. So that's already part A. <clears throat> and so I can plug in my KSP. X for lead, 2X squared for BR. All right, so then I squared the 2X, so it's 4X squared times X. Um, and so now I'm dividing both sides by 4 to get the X cubed by itself. Now I just need to take the cube root. Remember, that's the molarity. That's how much we'll dissolve. That is the molar solubility, that x. So 1.3 times 10 to the minus 2 molar is the molar solubility in water. All right. Now, what about these other things? The first one is KBr, and that would totally dissociate. It, ha it is a strong acid. Check your solubility rules if you're not sure. And that means I would have 0.2 molar of potassium and 0.2 molar of bromine. The only one I care about is the bromine. Instead of zero, I'm going to have 0.2 for the initial for bromine. Everything else is the same. Same KSP. Lead is still X. But this time I have 0.2 plus 2X. I forgot to write squared, but it's squared. I will assume X is small because I have X added onto something. That's the only way I can avoid the quadratic. I put the right answer up at the top because I kept going through this. I did not catch my mistake as I worked through it. And so I did not catch that it was, it should have been squared. So look up above to see the right answer where the point two is squared and then you divide and solve. All right, so now let me do it with the lead nitrate. So this would separate into one lead, two nitrates. 0.2 molar would then give me 0.2 molar of lead and 0.4 molar of nitrate. This time, the only thing that would interact is the lead, so that's all I care about. And this time when I do it, I have 0.2 for lead for the starting amount. Bromine is still zero. X and two X. All right, so I'm ready to plug it in. 8.9 times 10 to the minus 6, 0.2 plus x, and then 2x. And I forgot to do squared again. I can't believe it. <laughs> so um, again, I put it up at the top. This time I assume x is small, and that just gives me the 0.2 instead of 0.2 plus x, but for the lead. And then um, the 2x is squared, so looking above, I squared the 2 and then squared the x squared, divide the 0.2 and the 4 over to the other side to get x squared equals 1.11 times 10 to the minus 5th. And then I need to take the square root, which I forgot that step completely because I didn't have a square. Sorry for the mistakes. I hope that's not too confusing.